All right, so good morning. It is Sunday the 17th of December. Today's video is a day in the life. This is gonna be my first vlog showing a day in the life because it's quite an exciting day. Brangaroo to shoot for Brooks. Uh, so, a photo shoot this morning, and then we've got a little surprise after that. Going to uh, well, Annie behind the camera, she doesn't know what's happening yet. Um, and then, gonna go for my first kind of long run. So, at the minute, I'm at about 11 kilometers for the week, uh, and I'm gonna try and do a 10k run today. So, that'll be my first long run since the Achilles tendon uh, strain. So I'm gonna just kind of test the water, see how I get on today. Wear these nice comfortable brook shoes, I must say. Um, so yeah, 10K run. And then hopefully tonight I'm gonna to do some strength training and work on the lower back, uh, kind of my upper body as well. So a bit of a day in the life. Well, let's get into it. So we've just finished a uh, pretty cool photo shoot with a girl called Natalie Wong. I'll put um, a link somewhere here and some photos of today's shoot. I'll put them up on screen so you can see. Um, but yeah, it went really well. She's got a great vision. She's actually a runner as well. So it makes, some, it makes things so much easier where she can come up with creativity and cool ideas um, to get the brand across and also to show off what I'm doing next year as well. So we're gonna get some breakfast now, make some little porridge or something at home. Um, and then I've got like a little thing to do, which I'll show you very soon. And then um, 10K run, um, chill, and then potentially a strength training um, workout this afternoon. I'm not sure yet, I'm gonna see how I feel after the run, um, but then I'm potentially do a lower back and, and my core strength training this afternoon. So let's get into some food. Now, I always 
trying to keep it a secret from Annie behind the camera, but she's spoiled because she's been asking me a million times what it is. Um, so basically we're trying to purchase our first property in the new year. Um, and Sydney prices are very, very expensive. But one thing I do know is that I want to have some nice art in the property. So I'll have to go pick up the first piece of art um, for our future apartment. So I'm just going to go to Maroubra, meet up with a local artist, uh, originally from Brazil. She now lives in Sydney uh, and she's created uh, a one-off kind of painting for us. So this is the nice colour, very talented. Okay, so just picked up the painting, as you can see on the back here. Um, I picked the colours and uh, I think it's turned out very well. She's incredibly ta talented. Um, I know this is a bit different to usual, but love the, the brush strokes she's used. She's got a good technique, so this is going to look perfect in the future um, house or apartment. So I'm really excited to have this kind of first thing that's going to be put up on the wall. I'm going to head home now. going to try and get this wrapped up so I don't damage it and then get into the rest of the day. Got some tailwind in this bottle, um, 200, about 200 calories in that bottle. Getting ready for my first 10K run. So obviously, as I've said, I've had an Achilles strain, um, but this is gonna be my first run. So I'm gonna try and do 10Ks. Um, ideally, I wanna do a minimum of 7Ks and just kind of see how, how my, um, my ankle feels. And if I still feel good, I'll continue to that, that next 3Ks and finish it off with a nice 10K. 26 degrees right now, so it's starting to warm up. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting home, getting changed, and then pumping out this run. All right, so here we go. First longish run, 10 kilometers. Just gonna finish my warm up. Yeah, a couple of leg swings and get my hips open up a bit. And then we're gonna jump into this 10K run, which is gonna be at, uh, I'm gonna try and aim for a 540 pace. That's the pace that Annie here is trying to achieve for a four hour or sub four hour marathon. So that's the pace that she needs to be at for that. So we're gonna try and hit that pace today. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do the full 10Ks. Um, really gonna play it by ear and see how my legs feel and my ankle. But hopefully we can get through this. We are 1.5 kilometers in, around the one mile mark. Feeling pretty good. Although that sun, that sun up there is really really hot feels good to uh be out and having a bit of a uh, structure to my run again on my runs if i do 10k today that will bring me up to 20 kilometers um and i'm also trying to do a lot of cross training so um, a lot more time on the bike trying to get that zone too i originally planned to go to the gym tonight and train my back but I've had 4am starts uh, yesterday and today so I'm just gonna listen to my body and rest and not really uh, come out and strain my body ideally on a Sunday double session I would run first thing in the morning and then train some weights at, in the afternoon but I'm only just going for a run and it's like one o'clock now or 1 30 in the afternoon so I'm not gonna have much time in between those and if, if i'm honest i'm i'm pretty fucked as well and we continue forward
6.3 kilometers and I'm definitely feeling the weeks off of training uh, I think I had maybe five six weeks off in the end and I feel quite unfit not quite in a head locker yet but I can feel it coming very soon Turn it up, 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 I say feeling pretty good. I'm fucked. <laughs> the air feels so thick, and when you come out of this cover and it, the sun's beating down, it's very, very hot. So that's where we just finished. Uh, in the end, it was 10.13. Uh, average kilometers was 5.44. So a little bit slower than. Um, what we're trying to achieve with marathon pace when we're going 540 or under but just started training for a marathon so I'm not expecting any uh, to be bang on marathon pace right now but it felt really good to be out running nice hot day how'd you feel a little update oh, not that great but feels good because we got it done so that was <laughs> matters and good pace actually good pace yeah good pace so uh, yeah, now it's time to just go home and recover. Gonna chuck on the recovery boots, have lots of food. Um, moving forward in this kind of vlog, I'll show a little bit more about the diets and my recovery methods. But I'm gonna end the video here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It goes a long way. Uh, drop comments below if you, if you guys wanna learn a little bit more, what you wanna see in future videos. But yeah, hope you enjoyed a day in the life. This morning was Brooks photo shoot and then into a 10k run in the afternoon. So feeling good about training again and feeling good about hopefully the Achilles injury being over. Peace.